Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy, and I wanted to do a quick video about the upcoming 1.28 update that's happening. Uh, when is it going to be? How do you do a, uh, a storage wipe, as they recommended for community servers? How do you make sure you have the latest files, um, whether you're on console or whether you're on PC? And have I done any boosted loot files? So all this sort of stuff. So here we go. Now, 1.28 is coming on June the 3rd. So 10 days time as of um, recording this video. As you can see here, we've got these different versions of the guns. We've got these new scopes. There's the new R12 shotgun. And there's the new rack submachine gun. So they haven't put that in that picture, have they, as well? So what's going to happen on the day? So at some point on June the 3rd, we'll get notified by Daisy that the update's happening. So they'll say the servers are going down for PC, and then they're coming back, and the servers are coming down, going down for console, and they're coming back up again. So if you're a community server owner, you'll want to update your server at some point. So I'm going to kind of concentrate on Nitrado with, these, with this video, but the ideas will spread across to different providers as well. So, for example, if you've got like an Xbox or a PlayStation server, what you're looking for on that day, on the 3rd, is when you come to the um, dashboard, you're looking for the version number to go up to V.1.28 something. If it's still V.1.27, then the server hasn't been updated. Now, sometimes this screen here that you see will just be blank. It'll just say service status and then have a picture of Daisy and none of this stuff will be here. For some reason, it comes and goes. Often, the time that Nitrado update the server will be sometime after the official servers get updated. And it's important to note that in most cases, what happens is when the server gets updated, it's only the server.exe files that get updated. So the backend uh, files that run the server, not the mission files that, ca that contain all the data about all the bits that should be on your server, like all the guns and all the tins of food and all that sort of stuff. So unless you update your mission files, then you'll have a server that's running Daisy version 1.28, but you'll have the 1.27 file, 1 file, so you won't have the new rack submachine gun, you won't have the new R12 uh, shotgun, that sort of stuff. Now, if you're not sure what's happened, and, so, and this bit is blank, but you're pretty sure the update has happened and you want to check whether it's, when, whether it's happened or not, um, one of the easiest ways to do it is just to update your mission files anyway and then we can check and we can go into the files and see if the ones that we want are in there. Now, what we're going to do now is if we just go into the settings here, this is where we're going to kind of do some of this, this magic stuff. So after we've heard that the servers have been updated, um, either we know our server has been updated to 1.28 and not 1.27, um, or maybe we're not sure, but it should have. If you scroll down and have a look for all of these, what we're interested in is a couple of things. This setting here, reset mission XML to default, and this one here, storage wipe. So what the devs have said here is that we recommend a storage wipe for modded community servers as our changes could introduce corruption of horticultural plants. So when you're growing stuff. Now, it could be that they're really aiming this at PC modded servers where they use um, extra mods to do special things with plants. Obviously, on console, we can't we can't introduce, for example, new plants. You know, we can't um, introduce a corn plant or something like that. But maybe modded servers can. I don't know of any that do, but maybe they do. So they say, look, because of the way this works, you should change this. So maybe take it with a pinch of salt whether you're going to do the storage wipe or not. Because on console, when you do a storage wipe, um, it wipes everybody's progress, so all their buildings, all their characters, all the loot and everything like that, and you're starting again. There is a way to not quite do it on PC in the same way, but I would say probably, you know, if you're going to do do a storage wipe, you know, just tell people, right, we start again, or maybe leave it if you're on console, um, and then just see what happens. <laughs> see, see if people start complaining that their plants aren't working very well. But, however, the thing that we do need to do is to reset Mission XML to default. And it's important to understand that this is only on console, and I tried to, you can do this. PCs don't have this option. And what this what this is going to do 
is if we click that over there and then we say save, save the chat sorry if we stop the server first then we click that over there and we save that and then we restart the server what it's going to do it's going to take all of the the mission files so types that xml events that xml all the um territories cfg spawnable types all that sort of stuff and it's going to update them to the latest 1.2 files but remember when we do this all those changes that we've made on any of those files is going to be lost so if you've edited your types to xml file to give you more baked beans that's going to be lost so any of those changes that you want to make you want to make sure you've got backups of that maybe start preparing for, for that now and i'll show you how to get the files in a second as well and so the server so then you restart the server the server will restart you unclick that and you save the changes and then you'll have the new 1.28 files if you're not sure what you can do is if you go into the tools and then go into the file browser like so and then go into the missions folder xb missions for xbox ps missions for playstation um, just missions for pc and then go into the db folder and then what you want to do is you want to download the types file there so download that to your local pc open up in your favorite text editor and do and do a search for the r12 and then if the r12 shotgun is there you know you've got the latest types file so that's good so the new stuff is going to going to be spawning in so you can do that now going back a little bit so if we wanted to do the storage wipe what we would do <coughs> is just click that over there save that restart the server storage would be wiped so everybody's starting from new all the buildings are gone all the loot start to, to to spawn in again and once the server's restarted we untick that and we save that as well and then we, we've given us we've done a wipe um it's a bit like a reinstall i guess but not quite as vicious so you should find that with a storage wipe i think that your files in your custom folders will be maintained whereas when you do an install often they disappear but anything you've got in like your custom files and things like that you'll want to um you want to make sure you've downloaded and backed it up before you've done any of this. Now, if you're on PC and you're saying, oh, great, well, how do I get the latest 1.28 files, Rob? Um, and on consoles, well, if you want to, want, it to, want to edit them, the best thing to do is in your Steam library, and you've got to own Daisy to do that, but if you make sure you've got... Um, to, ooh, what's going on here? Why is that there? Go away. You want to make sure you've got tools ticked in the stuff and then scroll down... And then when you go to Daisy, you want Daisy Experimental Server, and you want to install that on your local computer. Don't run it, just install it. And then what you'll find is in the folder where Daisy is. And to find that, what you can do, if you go into uh, Manage Browse Local Files, it'll open up. Once this in is installed, if you go into the missions, and then you've got you'll have the vanilla files for 1.28 for Chernus Plus, Enoch, which is Livonia. And Sakal, so you can go in and you can you can mess around with those and you can start doing the edits that that you want to, which is very very cool. <coughs> and once you've got those, you can then upload those to your server when 1.28 goes live on PC, so that you've got the latest files and and do that uh, sort of thing. Now the other place where you can get the files or will be able to get them is on update day, June the third, with a bit of luck at some point on that day or the next day, Bohemia Interactive will update their daisy central economy github uh, repository and you'll know because it, down here it will say stable update 1.28 and down here it will say um something like uh here we go daisy offline .trans plus and it will say last updated and it'll be like today or yesterday and if you go in what you can do here is if you just click on this green box download zip extract that to your local pc and then you have all the mission files there including things like for halloween and stuff like that. just remember though just because it's 1.28 so it's the latest one doesn't mean you're going to have the halloween files that are coming in a few months time in october you just have you'll have last year's ones uh, that way so that's the way that you, that you can uh, do that stuff now if you're thinking well rob oh that's very good i normally use your boosted loot files yes i have got boosted loot files i've done them already so we've got Chernerus and Livonia slightly boosted loot and the Sakal one is slightly edited loot and I'll put links to these in the description below this video so the Chernerus one adds a few more things in 
and does things like car vehicles with wheels and guns with mags and silences, more food, everything spawns in pristine. And so does the Livonia one. The, the Sakal one's slightly different in the fact that it doesn't add anything extra apart from the payday master, but it does make everything spawn in pristine, guns with mags and silencers and scopes, vehicles with all the bits on them. Because I've had terrible trouble every single update with Sakal where I boost the loot. For some reason, the on console, the loot economy stops working. I think it's on Xbox is the worst one. It just seems to stop working. So I don't know if it's me or <laughs> whatever it is. So Sakal, I'm, I'm very nervous about boosting loot too much on. Also, with these files, these new files, it's done in a new way. So if you're used to using my files where you just upload them over the top of the existing files, this doesn't work like that. In this particular method, we're using the um, CFG economy uh, core method. But don't worry, if you read through the README, everything is detailed in there, how to do it. Um, and again, you can click on the code, download the zip, and then you'll be good to go. Right, well, so I've yeah, looked at a PC server here, but I've explained all that, haven't I, how the PC server works. Don't need to look at anything like that. So yeah, I think we've covered it all there. So I'll put the relevant links to the videos in the description below this one. Um, keep an eye on the Daisy account because you never know there might well be delays uh, or there might be further changes as well. Classic one to look out for is if they say they've updated the Daisy experimental servers. That means there'll be a change here on Daisy experimental. So what you would do is you would go to properties, install files verify integrity of tool files and that will check all the files and if there's been an update it will download them or you'll see update here and you can update it and that will download the latest mission files so there we go it's a lot easier than you think if this is the first time you're doing and doing an update and there's lots of help out there showing you how to do it but the important thing to remember is that on update day on console especially Although your server will update to 1.28, the server.exe, the mission files normally don't. Sometimes, sometimes they seem to do, but norm they normally don't. So you've got to do that yourself. Um, and of course, if you've made any edits, you need to be backing up those edits now or working on them now so you can install them when your server goes to 1.28 so your players get the new stuff. Anyway, that's enough from me. Hopefully you found this useful. If you have, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And of course, I'll see you again soon.